Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use average ifs function in Excel. Average ifs is a statistical function that can be used when you have to average values when given conditions are met. A related function is average if but that can be used when you only have one condition but if you have more than one condition then you should use average ifs function. Let me show you how this works. I have some data here in cell A2 to C6. I have fruit's name, its quantity and its price. Now let me show you how to use average if. Say I have a condition where I want to find the average price when the quantity is greater than 10 and the fruit is not papaya. So to do that I type average and as I type, you can see Excel prompts the name of the functions. I go to average ifs and I hit tab to autocomplete the function. You can see it takes a number of arguments. The first one is average range. This is the set of, of those values that you want to average out. In our case, it would be the price points. The second is criteria range one and criteria one is the third argument. Criteria range one is those set of either numbers or alphanumeric characters or names that has the criteria in it. And the third one is the exact criteria that you mentioned. Similarly, you can have more than one criteria. So you can have criteria range two then criteria two. So you can continue typing the number of arguments as we will see in this example. So in this case, I want to find the average of these price with two conditions. So my average range is all these price points. So I select C3 to C6 and I hit comma. Now for criteria range one, my first condition, let me drag this down. My first condition is that the quantity should be greater than 10. So I select the criteria range because this has my criteria and my exact criteria is that this should be greater than 10. So to do that, I would type the criteria within double quotes. So I type greater than 10 within double quotes. Always remember that in functions such as average if, uh, average if, uh, sum if, count if, whenever you type a criteria and if it uses a mathematical operator such as greater than, less than, equal to, not equal to, then that's, that should always be within double quotes. So my criteria one is that this quantity should be greater than 10. Now I would check for another criteria which is that the fruit should not be equal to papaya. So in that case my criteria range two is all these fruits and I hit comma and I have to specify the criteria again since I'm using a mathematical operator which is not equal to this should be within double quotes and I type not equal to papaya. And this is my second condition. Now I close the parenthesis and I hit control enter. And this gives me 9.5. Now let's see how it worked. It first went to this price point, which is 20 and it checked for both the condition. The first condition is that quantity should be greater than 10. That is not met here. So this is not taken into account. The second price point is seven. The first condition is that the quantity should be greater than 10. So it meets it because the quantity is 21 and the fruit should not be equal to papaya, which is again true because this is banana. So this price point is taken consider is considered for the average function. The third one is 12 and the first condition is met because this is 12 greater than 10. And the second condition is met because this is orange minded that both the conditions have to be true. So 12 is taken and the third is 32 but the first condition is not met. Uh, actually, both the conditions are not met. This is less than 10 and this is papaya. The condition was it should not be equal to papaya. So only these two numbers are averaged out. 7 plus 12, which is 19 divided by 2 is 9.5. Now, you can also use wildcard characters in your conditions. And this is true for all the criteria. If you're using any functions such as count if, sum if, average if, average ifs. So you can use wildcard characters there. Now let me show you how it works. I type I type average ifs, I hit tab and here I want to find the average of the price when the price is greater than 15 which is my first condition and second condition is that the fruit name should has the alphabet P in it. So I select the average range as the price as the price points are my average range. 
my criteria range is again these price points because my condition is that the price should be greater than 15 so I have to select the same range since I'm using a mathematical operator greater than 15 this comes within double quotes my second criteria is on the name of the fruit so I select the names and my condition is okay let me drag this further the tooltip and my condition is that the word should have alphabet P in it now to do that see how I use wildcard characters I use asterisk P asterisk so this is my condition this wildcard character asterisk mean that there could be any number of characters before the alphabet P so this means that if there is any word that contains P it can have any number of characters before so in case of example Apple this would satisfy because Apple has one alphabet before P papaya would satisfy because it has no number of characters before P which is okay asterisk mean any number of characters it could be either 0 1 2 or any number similarly the asterisk after P means that there could be any number of characters after P so again Apple would meet the criteria and papaya would meet the criteria banana orange would not so now when I close this and I hit control enter this gives me 26 now let's see how it worked it goes here to the price point 20 and it checks for the condition the first condition is that the price should be greater than 15 which is true and the second condition is that alpha, the, the fruit name should have the alphabet P in it which is again true so this is taken into consideration for average the second condition is not true because this is less than 15 the third is again not true and the fourth is true because this is greater than 32 and the second condition is also met that the alphabet the fruit name has alphabet P in it so only these two uh, which is C3 and C6 only these two values are taken into consideration for average function and when it sums it averages it it is 52 by 2 which comes out to be 26 so this is how average ifs function works in Excel. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.